Today, I will try to find uh, maybe a connection with uh, the path, maybe a connection with your uh, theory devoted to analysis of function of particles and uh, another uh, complex systems. But I know that they are quite complex because I finished uh, physics in, uh, in uh, uh, not in face of technology, uh, and there uh, I also forget the topics you are investigating, but after the, after the mm, uh, psychedelic studies, I, 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 I moved to mechanics, and there, to, uh, and there I initiated uh, some numerical uh, methods uh, to strengthen the, uh, the field of science. So I'll be, I'll be talking about the uh, very best complex systems. You know uh, the classical mechanics of uh, landmass systems, uh, which are focused, uh, which are uh, sets of, of, of mass of masses focused in points uh, between some interactions up there. Uh, about me, uh, only a few words. I started to work scientifically uh, in in 2000 when I finished. The, the appropriate uh, uh, field of study. Uh, after that, uh, I uh, started to work in the Department of Automation and Biomechanics. And uh, last year, we, we added the extension mechanism because we have to specialize our, uh, our department in this direction. Uh, in 2002, at the end of the year, I, uh, I was, I was uh, I was graduated and I decided PhD degree in, in mechanics where I specialized in, in mechanics. So uh, it was applied mechanics uh, and, and especially uh, numerical analysis applied to, to classical mechanics of systems with friction. Uh, but uh, there, uh, there was in there a similar uh, uh, branch. Uh, discipline of, uh, of, of graduation, so uh, the applied mechanics appeared uh, later in 2013 when I uh, received the DSC degree application in applied mechanics. So the effect of the application and the, and the results are uh, next to you in the, in the, in the book you are now seeing. So uh, now I started to work as a, uh, as a professor of tool from January of this year. Uh, the field of my interest is, is, is listed here. So as you can see, it is uh, connected not always to numerical uh, analysis, but also with uh, mechatronics in a wider sense, and also with uh, analysis of data series. And, uh, and the data series may appear from, uh, from uh, experimental investigations, from experimental measurements with the use of sensors, which we uh, which we connect to NI, National Instrument Devices, uh, and to LabVIEW, which is very useful uh, in our case. Uh, about me, I, I'm also interested in, in, in the following topics. I like uh, racing pigeon, pigeons, if you know uh, what it, uh, it could be. Uh, and about my department, so the, part, the department was mentioned. Uh, there is a website, uh, the department uh, uh, employs 11 workers, uh, which cooperate with about 10 PhD students. Uh, a postdoc uh, joined us last days, uh, and some scientists from, from Poland and abroad, and one uh, emeritus professor. Uh, we have some uh, laboratories, uh, uh, which are in, in which we specialize. Uh, in, 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 in mechanics and it, it, it branches like mechatronics, automation, and, and robotics, uh, mechanical engineering, transport, and, and biomechanics, which is also quite uh, uh, quite well developed in our um, department. And I represent the mechanical engineering to your knowledge. If you would like to refer to the disciplines, the, then. I mentioned about the mechanical engineering is my branch of, uh, uh, of classification. Uh, and at the end of, of the presentation of uh, my person and my department, I'd like to only show you that we, uh, every two years, we organize a conference in, in Thailand. Persistent, it, it, 
it's grown up. Uh, last uh, uh, last year we uh, we um, we, uh, so we we welcomed about uh, more than 300 presentations, 300 uh, publications in proceedings and, and special issues. So this is the advantage we are uh, representing on uh, on. Um, on international level, because most of our participants comes from abroad. Uh, so I, I, I also encourage you to uh, to visit our conference website. Uh, and the and the topic: numerical technical uh, and analysis of identification of the less complex academic systems. Uh, uh, I'd like to show. I'd like to say about some. Uh, basic uh, things they go to, to um, numerical modeling and uh, especially numerical modeling uh, uh, done with the use of uh, of Python, which is uh, uh, maybe not new, but uh, very um, handy in uh, in operation uh, with uh, math, with mathematical uh, with uh, tra in translation of mathematical models and mathematical formulas to a numerical language. To numerical codes. So there are a few. Uh, there is a few uh, subtopics which are addressed here, and I'm going to tell them on the basis of using these tools. Uh, so, um, so there are selected topics which are uh, wanted to and to embrace. Uh, with uh, with a common name of parametric systems. So uh, last years I investigated uh, uh, parametric dynamical systems like uh, pendulums with uh, with parameters changing in time. And and therefore after uh, three maybe four works collected in this uh, field, I decided to present it here and to show you how to um, uh, incorporate uh, parameter. Uh, Variations of parameters in in, in numerical codes. Uh, first of all, I am going to base my uh, uh, my speech on on the on, 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 on the publication. Uh, this publication was finished during uh, the during the research PDL, uh, which we uh, um, which I collect. Um, in our department during the uh, summer semester, and I supervise uh, four students uh, engaged in some code and, and, and try to uh, and, and I try to um, learn them uh, uh, coding in Python and to learn them some dynamical system. Fortunately, the the the, the work could be published in a in a, in a journal. Uh, so this is my my theme, my, my thoughts uh, that I'd like to uh, uh, extend. So uh, the topic of variant parameters of the well-known model is not very well uh, covered in, 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 in the terms, to my knowledge, at the moment. So it, it is a word of uh, in, of interest. Uh, let us first take a look at the at the model, which is uh, a pendulum. So very very common uh, system of repeating motion, of, of, of motion which can be in, uh, found in, uh, in many areas of, of science. Of course, mechanics, uh, traditional uh, New Newtonian mechanics is, is, is the main field, uh, is, is the first field where we, uh, where we can find, but, but also we know uh, pendulums and, and, and such behaviors in, in many other also in quantum also in quantum mechanics. So uh, I uh, I propose to investigate the following system uh, to find the uh, to find positive motions of the model when when it is uh, composed of two um, of two passes, focus point passes of uh, of uh, with a frictional resistance, very very small frictional resistance between the slider and the and, and the base and, and the pendulum which can uh, rotate around the pivot point and the pendulum has a varying length. So that's the uh, parametric dependency. Additionally we should apply C 
what, what is uh, uh, what, what is the tanking in the system? Because the system without the tanking would be uh, could show or could show uh, too much uh, chaotic behavior which is not under the uh, investigation at the moment. So uh, there are some uh, uh, there are some uh, geometries here that have to uh, be considered in in, uh, in evaluation of the model. So uh, some 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 simplifications are uh, some simplifications are mentioned here. So uh, we have an uh, external Hyman force. So we have uh, uh, low damping. Some things have to be um, simplified uh, because even in uh, um, because in, in modeling initially we assume that the uh, real system that the real object uh, have to be simplified uh, uh, to have the possibility to, to take it into into the uh, into the numerical codes. Uh, some other extensions uh, applying after measurements, applying after uh, long, um, all other observation of the system can uh, input to the system some co corrections, but at the beginning usually we uh, simplify it or try to simplify it and to uh, expose its main behavior. So. I can uh, I, I, I went I went this way uh, here. So uh, uh, let me uh, show you how we usually uh, do uh, how we usually process with uh, such systems. So we put uh, uh, we put formulas for for energy potential energy and kinetic energy. We use uh, uh, for, for for this system it is uh, represented by four components, uh, five components, which are uh, taken from analysis of, of, uh, of uh, um, kinetic motion of, uh, of the two masses. Um, uh, then we have a potential uh, uh, energy dependent on, on, on the gravitational potential energy and the spring and the potential uh, energy hidden in the spring, uh, which is uh, visible here, and the first one is visible here. Then we, uh, we we apply uh, Lagrange Euler uh, equations to to find equations uh, of motion in a, in a coupled form. So I, I will tell you in a minute about this. So taking into account the above, uh, these formulas so um, taken from the uh, uh, left figure on the on, 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 on the previous slide, we can find that the potential and, and energy. Uh, Depends uh, uh, um, depends on uh, on S, where S is elongation. So that's the main influence here. Usually it goes like that. It is very similar, but here S is time time dependent and is dynamically dependent on the system state. So means that the potential energy will have a much much more complex shape. The field of potential energy will have much more complex shape, and therefore. If uh, the a system can um, can s um, switch between the potential fields between potential wells to exhibit some interesting dynamics, um, so the uh, the Lagrangian the older Lagrangian approach is traditional. We have some external force. It is as I mentioned, <coughs> force uh, of amplitude f zero and and the periodicity. Uh, mm, and the state and, and, and the and the vector of system state com is composed of three elements. So it, this is theta. It is uh, mm, it represents angular motion of the pendulum. S is elongation, and X is the uh, translation of the of the slider. What, is, what is the capital R? Uh, capital R is uh, here. These are forces. These are dissipative forces related to uh, Rayleigh -like, -like formula, which is defined here. So uh, R represents dissipation in the model. So we should, we usually apply the Rayleigh -like dissipation function from the definition, and finally we, we get the component in which the uh, the tanking stays as s dot square. So so. It should be expected, but I want to show it that it, 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 that we have to start from the basic formula. The 
this is the displacement in our case. So uh, putting our geometric here, we find that the something here is so like that. So we put it here and, and and find the following equation of the function. But they are of course now decoupled, but because after application of the uh, Lagrangian formalism. We have x dot two, uh, eta dot, two dots uh, on, on, on both sides, and there, and there is some mismatch. So we have to solve an algebraic equation to find uh, second order uh, differential equations on each uh, uh, state file. So as you can see, uh, they are connected by the acceleration of, of, of the slider. It is a very interesting observation also that that the acceleration is, is present in each equation. So this is, it states a, a, a very important information which can be also investigated in, uh, uh, after, uh, after the first row of, of the system. So it is row here, row, and, and row, it is up, uh, cosinus, sinus, and row is here. So it was, uh, mm, mm, it is interesting to add mathematically my knowledge with respect to the coupling by law in each uh, equation. So this is the model. So uh, we usually go this way and uh, uh, preparing the equation to numerical solution, <coughs> we have to, of course, uh, extend it to uh, six uh, differential equation of first order, uh, uh, where x, x1 dot is equal to x2, and x2 dot is equal right inside of this where all the all the um, <coughs> have to be changed so I do not uh, uncover something uh, special but uh, but we will have six degree of freedom in the dynamical system so it is six dimensional space uh, uh, mathematical space uh, um, of uh, of the model uh, applying some um, uh, some uh, Formulas if we can analyze the motion of the system around the equilibrium point, which is about the steady state position after hanging the mass on the pendulum, virtual hanging of the mass on the pendulum. And, and about this position, we observe in its motion after application this, uh, um, this point. So, uh, and, the, and, the, and the, in the integration. So, uh, simple, may, maybe as a basic note, when, when there appears uh, some excitation, like uh, here, we have a period of excitation from the force, from the external excitation. It is, uh, to my observation, it is very, uh, it, it, it is good, uh, it is good practice to, um, um, uh, to use a step of integration uh, um, uh, is to divide the, the period of excitation uh, into into the into the into the particles which are uh, equal to the step of integration. So multiplicity of uh, of uh, step of integration gives you each each period 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 period. So. This is very important because if the step of integration <coughs> you not know, hits the period of uh, of apparent uh, uh, the um, the uh, the excitation uh, force minimum maximum minimum maximum then uh, it, it provokes uh, uh, additional disturbances to your system. It, it, this is very artificial because it is introduced by numerics, but uh, in, which do not um, exist. Uh, in, in, in the physical model. So this is a very basic note we observed after some years and I uh, and, and after some observation of results I saw that that the same that the same model uh, with people work with this warning and without this warning can can give a different shape on solutions on on phase planes. So it is uh, it is quite important here to, to, to use this raw numerical. Uh, and a piece of code, uh, let me quickly switch to the piece of code in, in, uh, in, in Python. Uh, the, uh, the Python's code is very clear. Uh, you probably, you, probably some of you apply it. There is a lot of uh, libraries uh, 
I, I read that on specialized uh, in, 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 in special fields of science, uh, but basically uh, everyone uses NumPy. It's a numerical Python library. Uh, here I use uh, uh, all the int uh, class from integrator uh, library, the pandas, which is very useful in manipulation with tabular data, with tables, presentation of, uh, of tabular data on the screen, uh, managing with uh, CSV uh, files, <coughs> managing with H5, um, HD5 files, if I remember the extension, so it, it is very uh, it is very handy in, 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 in this uh, in this case, uh, and we will get uh, 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 we get access to functions of pandas by pd variable, uh, uh, which is which represents object of the of of, of the basic class of the library. Our functions uh, can be imported by asterisk. And here some imports uh, from uh, to manipulate with folders, paths, and the one and the metal uh, parts and so on. So in initialization, so there is some attempt to create uh, uh, the um, uh, pi, which is uh, um, conjugated, maybe which is uh, closer to the um, uh, not full. Pi value can be used, but only uh, uh, up to the um, assumed number of uh, digits after dot. So uh, let me omit this here, but I use it usually. Uh, I usually uh, define my discrete space and add full of uh, full um, uh, digits after dot, but I, I re reduce it, uh, reduce it to, uh, to to the smallest time. Um, this placement to, to, to the smallest uh, uh, values in the system, so it it, it gives me some better um, uh, discretization of the space, and and the solutions usually uh, are getting um, this position much more exact. But uh, it is not the case. But there are some applications here. Uh, some assumptions appear here, uh, and the solution uh, basic solution look. Uh, Look like looks like that. Uh, usually, we define uh, a vector of time by the space function. Uh, and if you remember that that object of num num numerical Python, the initialization of uh, uh, of um, initial conditions and and, in, and integration. So uh, so after that, uh, we, we will have it, uh, we will have uh, a solution while. Where FC are right hand sides of equation of the six equations that I mentioned earlier, initial conditions time and the parameters. So here in the ODINT function, we see that the parameters are constant. So that's the basic application of the integrator here in Python. ODE, ODINT. It, it, it does it in the with the assumed numerical method of integration, it, it can be Topri, Runga Gutta, uh, uh, and so and and, and, and and the other ones. Uh, but uh, uh, the extension of it is ODE, and the ODE will be shown on the next slides where uh, these arguments can be codified uh, in time of uh, of the simulation. Uh, and that's very very useful. Uh, point of simulations in uh, in modeling of dynamical systems is is a data frame uh, object um, function or, or data frame. Uh, so it is a it is a kind of uh, tabular structure uh, to which we have access from uh, PDF from pandas and we can save them uh, in memory as XPD and, and other variables and then you can. Save them to HDF files. HDF files with, with extension H5 are very um, uh, are very efficient in in, in, in saving uh, the data in memory, uh, and they are safe not as uh, accidentally. Right, they, are, they are safe uh, variable by variable, and the table it, it, there is variable uh, like for like here in one. Two, three, four, five, six variables, and each 
the time series are saved in the in the memory, and and therefore after uh, uh, invoking the uh, the object, we can access by name by this name to the table. So it is very handy. So in very in, in, in one in, in one file, uh, we we have well structured well structured uh, uh, well well structured. Uh, 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 tracker uh, to we uh, can access uh, uh, very quickly. So this is the very, uh, this is the basic advantage of the model. And here we save it to file. So file name uh, you, is sometimes with extension. Uh, the variable so it is only uh, for tracking. So we can we can save it more if we have it in 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 a, in, a, in a loop. So it can be repeated or repeated and saved in one file um, given by the file name. Uh, and the point karma, for instance, here is 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 safe. Uh, here uh, we have that. Uh, and and how to read it? Uh, re reading of the data is very simple. Uh, read HDF again. Then we provide the name of the uh, of the uh, variable of the object that we have saved to uh, to the file, and so on and so on. Here we have access to uh, to um, to Y, which which are uh, uh, which has, which contains uh, our series of six dimensional factor over the whole uh, time of simulation. Uh, uh, and after the simulation that I show you, you, you will see a file that is, is single of, of, of some size. And now I've, uh, I'm going to quickly uh, smoothly switch to uh, uh, FFT, which is also very popular in, in analysis of dynamical systems. So this is initialization of, F, F, of, of F50 uh, by, by, by preparation of, of the space. Then, uh, uh, then, then we have a part when we define the frequency range as a half of the range we, we, we define. So this is our window. Uh, here is the procedure of taking only half of the Frequency uh, created here. So here we create array, uh, which is half of this one, uh, up to uh, half of the uh, of, of, all, of all elements, and uh, and uh, finally computation of the F uh, Again, we use MP means uh, non uh, library F F fifty, and we compute that computer like that, uh, scaling, and, and finally plotting. Uh, this is time for 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 the so for the uh, solution, and here we have frequency and module of the uh, f FFT computed here. So this is finally a plot that I'm going to uh, to show you in a minute, and the solution. So after uh, mm, uh, execution of the model, we have the solution. No. This solution is, of course, uh, almost periodic, <coughs> or periodic with some periodicity. Here is the, uh, uh, the spectrum uh, of the series. Here is another shape in, in, in the next direction, and in the next direction here. So as you can see, if, uh, if, if in one direction uh, we, we, uh, we get a quasi-periodic portion, then it it determines the behavior of the other type tensions. It's, it's particular because here we see only cross section of the six dimensional space. So there are only planar, planar cross sections of our space. So if, if, if one shows a closed circle <coughs> or, a, or, a, or a, close, a close cross shape, then the other ones also should be because the space is, uh, because the solution here is, is continuous in the in the space, so we cut it and, and, and look at the model. So here you see here is uh, the gray line. Here is the, the solution you saw there, but but uh, on the uh, x x dot uh, theta theta dot space. So it means that on the plane we uh, we observe the the Poincaré map only, which confirms quasi periodicity in our in our model. Uh, and an other example also confirms that the model will be very weak. I think it's, it's highly quasi um, exceeds 
highly quantifiable decision use. Uh, mm, and, and, and now some uh, some simple simulation, uh, maybe not simple, but a very uh, quick simulation. Uh, so here is the is the place where, where I um, ended before uh, showing the uh, before showing the uh, solutions. So uh, they are after the simulation, the uh, figures are, are saved are saved in the um, uh, disk memory. Mm, so this is a, a matplot view where, where you can uh, see how the solution looks like. So it is uh, it, it is a matplotlib, matplotlib tool uh, of matplotlib is a type of library. Uh, and uh, what's interesting, I usually prepare my uh, my uh, my graphs uh, as ready in, to include in in publications. So you can save them fairly quickly here and uh, and, and use appropriate. Uh, Extension to your publication. So uh, probably everybody has some uh, some tools, but this is mine, uh, which is very uh, good. After um, when you want to change something, then you uh, add your results uh, after changing a parameter, because sometimes uh, reviews modify our our approaches. Uh, that there are some acts, so usually you can very quickly uh, scale our uh, our application, and, and as you can see, all of them I have I, I set here. The next one, uh, the next one, so it can be increased, decreased, as you can see, uh, and so on and so on. And, and also, uh, and also, I save uh, uh, all the data that I use in, in, in subtitles, in captions to figures that I use. So, uh, that are usually connected with a series, uh, with, with a series of graphs. These graphs are, are stored in the folder, and everything is there. So that's very useful. And and and, and, and every time, even uh, e e even then, as uh, when I forget my uh, previous work, then I can add to the results and 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 and, and read from them. Uh, uh, okay, maybe at the moment some questions. Maybe something uh, you would like to. Uh, uh, Ask uh, before I switch to the next part. Mm. You mentioned that <clears throat> you need to uh, take the time step, so uh, that uh, an integer time, the time step is equal to the uh, period of the motion, right? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a multiplicity. Yes. Uh, so. So, so, so the reason time. for this is to uh, balance the well, to have the proper balance of energy after each period, or uh, between others, yes. It, it, it also can uh, can conserve the, the, the energy between uh, successive integration points. But uh, in, in, in my observation, I, I saw that when the peak up, when the peak amplitudes uh, that are very uh, the special point uh, of uh, changing of sign of uh, of the uh, excitation. But then, if you do not hit exactly at, uh, at this point with your integration time, then uh, then you lose some information about about the moment of changing of sign of of the of the um, excitation. So, and, and also, I guess that it can also influence the the balance of energy in the system and can. Had some uh, peak values of, of energy uh, after bottling uh, of the system. Uh, one more question about the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, is it, did you compare this situation when these periods are not multiplicity with the situation when we have an integration with the Yes, uh, so uh, plus noise? Uh, no, without noise. Uh, I only. No, but uh, I wonder because if you don't hit these places exactly, it's like you included a little bit of noise in your system. So additional round of noise. Yes, so this noise. Yes, I observed that this noise on on uh, on uh, on quasi periodic portion when the uh, in fast systems the the circles or, or, or the shapes were not so uh, on the line, but were uh, 
at Andon, I know how to say, you know, there is also, it was much bigger, the line was much bigger, so the points were in, uh, the, the fans so the doesn't hit it as, it was a kind of diffusion, on, so they are not so um, sharp, yes, uh, but, uh, but uh, due to that, I expected that when you, uh, so when you upset chaotic portions, so, which are uh, sensitive to um, uh, to initial co conditions, for instance, or are sensitive in, in time, uh, then you, you can also uh, lose information about true trajectory of your chaotic portion, which usually can uh, switch to a quasi-periodic one on bifurcation plots. Uh, so I only selected something, but also it influenced my bifurcation plots, and some periodic uh, windows uh, do not appear in uh, in uh, in uh, in the in the precise solution, but, but appear on the uh, on the solution where I do not do care about the step. Yes, so so there are some some uh, uh, it is usually um, um, I don't say I don't know how to say it is usually uh, uh, a graphical representation, but not always, but. Because when you try to analyze the data, then you will see that the uh, uh, data may be a bit corrupted. Uh, if I may venture for comment, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's a purely numeric error. Yes. Uh, 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 yes, but I wonder if it's equivalent to the presence of noise. I mean, some to some extent, extent yes, to some, to some extent, but, but that's the random noise that comes from rounding errors. Yes. He he uh, uh, sets his time step relative to the to the period, and avoids one uh, particular source of yes, of, yes, of yes, this yes, yes, yes. That's, 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 that's a very good sentence. Yes, I, I exactly. So um, uh, it helps me to uh, avoid it. And uh, um, okay, uh, let us. Uh, I see that I uh, I'm close to the end. Uh, it's 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 forty. Uh, uh, modulated length. So the case there was uh, when the uh, length was varying uh, dynamical. Uh, but here we, it is is a case when we can when when we can modulate it. It means that external uh, parametric excitation. Uh, is uh, incorporated into our system uh, and uh, uh, here Ln and enforcing is dependent on n. It means that in every uh, step of integration uh, the <coughs> length and the forcing can change. Uh, here on, on, on the basic uh, example of the model of, of, of the model of, uh, of a pendulum by parametric pendulum uh, we started uh, uh, modulation of uh, endolumes by changing uh, a length sinusoidally uh, with some periodicity. So these are some definitions. So between uh, Tn plus 1 and Tn, uh, we have time in which we have to distribute the integration times, and the length will, uh, will vary according to this formula. At this uh, at this uh, uh, precaution, so for, for instance, on, uh, angular frequencies here uh, applied uh, cannot be uh, equal to uh, pi and its, uh, um, and its multiplications, integral multipli uh, multiplications, and this formula form. So uh, I only selected from the, uh, the, the work that uh, the part when the modulation is, is created. And on the and on the basis, I'd like to show you how such a modulation uh, provokes our system to quasi periodicity, or almost quasi periodicity, as it was shown here. So here you have different. Uh, what is almost quasi periodicity? Al almost quasi periodicity is, is means that uh, um, uh, it is only okay. Uh, graphically, it will be not visible, quasi-periodicity and almost periodicity. But, uh, but mathematically, the term also uh, uh, comes from the, the mathematical assumptions. That, that, that if some theory is, 
is not true, then we can say that this is almost periodicity. So it was a, like a, a definition, uh, how to say, um, quasi periodicity. So it is it, it is almost periodicity. So I I know the question. So almost quasi periodicity is uh, is 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 term hidden in the in the mathematical mathematical for, for, formulas, but uh, will be um, achievable uh, when. Uh, when appropriate conditions on parameters are uh, are applied, and to my knowledge, uh, it's, it, 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 it it works like that. Uh, but strict uh, but, but strict answer should be uh, found in, in, in the in the publication. Uh, mathematician here is uh, uh, Professor Fechkan from from Bratislava who who was uh, in. in <coughs> who, who introduced the term of almost periodicity. So here is, is, his, is his branch uh, of, of the work. Uh, finally, I was uh, interested in, uh, in translation of the mathematical formula to, to numerical code, which is not so uh, evident and, uh, and, and uh, not so, uh, sometimes not so easy. But if you use uh, Python, then, then the translation and be um, easier, uh, and uh, we, we can graphically show uh, the, uh, the uh, solutions that mathematicians usually have in, in his uh, uh, in, in imagination to, to prove some formulas also, because some of the formulas cannot be proved by by uh, by uh, uh, theoretically. Then some um, uh, tasks can do. Uh, can can we go, can we just go back? Yes. One, one, uh, and one one more slide back, please. Yes. Because I I, I want to understand the, the physics or the mechanics or, or, or basic assumptions. Mm -hmm. So you have a pendulum, uh, like the the, 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 the dumped pendulum, like in the first that's okay. that's right here, and then uh, you, what is that you do? You you at some points modify the length of the pendulum yes. by a step function, yes. right? And the moments when you when you when you do the modifications are predetermined, prede predetermined or or or, yes, or, or does the system calculate no. the moment? No, they are pre predetermined. Uh, as here, so we assume that there is a function of, of, of excitation. But we do we do not know at the moment where it can be applied. So such a, a modulation of length, it, it is uh, uh, the topic of modulation of length uh, uh, in, in pendulums is 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 not new, but but, uh, but quite rare in uh, in the in the theory, and the uh, and the modulation at the moment has no. Uh, a real uh, adequacy. So uh, we expect that some uh, some um, forms of pendulums or some forms of oscillators mm -hmm. uh, in, in general uh, could uh, could be better in modeling of some behaviors in the in, in dynamics if some modulation appears. So that's the, that's the opportunity uh, to show its uh, its behavior. So it is modulation. So it, it is uh, opposite way to, to the previous case when the length was modified by the by the system itself. Uh, so and this is a shape of the modulation. And as previously, we modified the step size here and like that. So uh, the modulation of the length and can be much more uh, complex when uh, when the frequency. Uh, when the frequency increases here, pi over eight, and the number of segments increases too. So we have more segments up to 110, and so on. So this is the time of the solution, and we uh, integrate our system as normally, but additionally, uh, during the integration, the length is, is corrected like state wave. It is a state wave shape, and so on. The original period. Uh, the original period is hidden here. Yes. So if we smoothen it, then the original period will be from here to here, from here to here. 
But I mean of the of the pendulum because this is the extensions, right? Those are the extensions. Uh, yes. So this is uh, ah you you mean it here? It's omega three. It's it's assumed yeah. at some value. So I don't know. No, no. This is the period of the extension, right? Uh, I mean, for the force here. here. Yeah, of the force here. here. Mm -hmm. But the uh, what, what would be the original period of the pendulum without the forcing on this scale? Uh, so free response. You mean about free response? One over square. Yes. Okay. So m over m square. Yes. So it is it is traditional single degree of freedom. Uh, me mechanica, mechanica, yes. So with this, of course, it changes the a period, so square k over m has not come into consideration in, in this case. Uh, okay, and uh, and now another look on, on, on the simplification. Uh, so you have only two sides, and, and, and this piece of, of code uh, uh, also does the solution, but in a much more stru structured uh, way when we prepare some classes by, by our side. By ourselves, and this is uh, very useful in repeating uh, similar computations where some uh, classes are ready to use but preferred by ourselves. And and again, the basics are important. And here, our our classes prepared for preparation of the system, uh, generation of the modulation functions, uh, plotting, and integration. So, uh, initialization. Uh, Initialization of the simulation, uh, printing of some value. Uh, there are some options of what to print on the screen, and the and the code ends here after plotting here. Everything is hidden in our functions, and finally we get the solutions. But like that, uh, quasi periodic motion. Uh, here is two periodic motion, but the quasi periodicity is is visible on the next example here uh, after omitting. Very, a very long interval in, in interval of time, every uh, two thousand of virtual seconds in, in, in the in the simulation gives the same solution. It it, it is attractor here. It's quasi periodic attractor. If we say it, it's almost quasi periodic attractor uh, uh, at these conditions. So this was uh, there was a very high. Uh, Modulation of the system in, in periodicity, uh, like that. So the steps were, were very simple. So having big values here, we can smooth the excitation, and it can be also sinusoidal. So so our um, approach is is a bit universal. If you put big values here, then then you can uh, um, modulate the length smoothly, and so on. So here is the. Uh, is the effect proved mathematically that the solution should exist? Uh, and finally, sim sim simulation is very similar, so uh, let me uh, omit it. And at the end, if I if I may continue, because the time is, is I lost the time. Uh, um, uh, I'd like to say a few words about uh, about uh, fractional derivative. Uh, have you? Applied fractional derivatives mm -hmm. in your in your theory. Okay, so that's very good. So I, 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 uh, I'm going to show you on the basis of of, of, of the work uh, output oscillators in identification of non-linear uh, damping. Uh, basic definition of the of the Riemann left Riemann Liouville uh, fractional uh, derivative as here on the proper integrable spaces, uh, peak power, uh, and so on and so on. So if you know it, that's very good. I do not need to explain it further. Uh, let me switch to uh, to um, presentation of the of the formula in the form that is useful for numerical computations where. Uh, when we define C as here, uh, then uh, by definition of some constants like A, B, C, uh, we can find by these manipulations final formula, uh, which is almost ready to apply in numerical procedure, uh, and it can and it can uh, 
differentiate with a fraction of order your series of data. It can, it can uh, differentiate a uh, numerical solution or even differentiate uh, uh, experimental data as it was done here. So this definition, so here we have um, uh, the so-called momentum, uh, A, B, C dependent on the uh, fractional order, and, uh, and here C, which should be also, which are mainly the uh, comma uh, function uh, dependent uh, constants. And the code, uh, and, and the code, fractional uh, derivative inputs to the, to the system, uh, preparation of the space for alpha, uh, uh, then a computation of the coefficients here. Eval f is a function that appears from uh, from uh, simply. Uh, simply is a package for symbolical computations in, in Python. It's, it's it's very handy to do as well because it uh, it uh, it saves the amount of four if loops in your in, in your system. When you can evaluate some formula quite uh, quite identically as the result in the mathematical formulas, here is the moment function. It does the formula. This this function is defined by us. Is that the formula shown before? Uh, and here, uh, after the in, in the loop in 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 each uh, time instant, we we, we calculate components of the of the function that I showed, and finally this fractional derivative can be found here, uh, where uh, uh, where uh, where each uh, um, each value from the constants in, in header in in, in, tempo, in temporary variables like here here uh, each dot that's input to, to the system uh, uh, it's uh, not input it's uh, Integral derivative of the of the uh, of the series that you are going to uh, in integrate with fraction, and and these are the definition of the moment here. So as you can see, this is um, uh, for very short uh, uh, with regard to using of uh, of lists here. So for i in and so on. So here is a, here is a table and i goes through all the elements of the table and puts it here where the other is and finally gives you at the end uh, the, a computed uh, uh, list of elements. The list is a Python uh, structure and uh, as you can see without, uh, this, uh, without additional functions for and so on, for is here but, but in a very compact way. That's, uh, and here, in, uh, as the coefficient a is is computed, we use a simple library and, and, and its gamma function. So, so, so you can see it's very uh, uh, easy to, to apply it, and so on. And finally, you you get a, a structure of of uh, of simple variable uh, to which we can apply about f dot. So uh, parenthesis dot about f, and then it 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 evaluates your your, your computations in the in the space in which the uh, simply computes the mathematical form. And uh, and uh, a simple movie, uh, a quick movie, sorry, a quick movie where the So here's the here's the oscillator. Here, here you see a pendulum at, that vibrates, and the the, uh, the pendulum was uh, in, was investigated. Let me let me stop it. Uh, where is that? Okay. Okay, it goes faster. Uh, stop. So 
A pendulum here is measured by the sensor of, of angular motion. Here is the measure the displacement <coughs> of the block here. Uh, the, the model in, in general uh, represents a braking system with uh, reinforcement of braking force when the uh, when the pendulum increases the normal force, the, the braking, so the friction increases and therefore it can follow a braking behaviors. But the, uh, the frame on which we have to focus now is, is the pendulum which was identified uh, with the use of measurement series taken from, uh, from free, response, free response of it. So it took about 1.2 seconds, so it was hit. Uh, the, the motion was was uh, was uh, registered uh, with the sensors. The data were uh, saved and, and then put to the functions as uh, measurement uh, to to find uh, damping of the system, overall damping of, of, of the body. So so as you can see, damping here appears. Uh, there, are, there is many elements of damping here. That's the overall system. So we, uh, we apply some motion, uh, some excited vibrations on the surface here appear. Uh, this is a mechatonic system, so uh, let me stop it here now. Uh, and uh, and uh, this uh, and this model here. Uh, uh, and this model here, uh, oh yes. and this model here uh, provides the, 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 the following measurement here. So it is uh, it is very interesting that uh, that if you apply <coughs> the uh, the, the uh, peak point values measured on the series uh, to, to the traditional formula of a uh, of an oscillator behavior with an exponential exponential uh, fading, then it uh, it does not fit. So it means that the damping here was greater than it could be expected from the traditional uh, response physically known. So it is very I observed in many cases uh, the following behavior in, in, in various branches of science. Uh, also uh, during participants of our conference, they showed that they. They, they know that, that they, they, um, they uh, expect such a behavior, and, and what goes here? So there goes, uh, there appears, uh, uh, there, there appears, let me omit this because of the time, uh, there appears time varying dependence, uh, time varying um, uh, dependence of the uh, of the damping um, here. So here you have uh, the, um, the model here um, solved with, uh, uh, with fractional uh, derivative here and here. So when the uh, when alpha here uh, varies between 0 0.7 to 0 0.9, then the uh, solution of this oscillator here uh, with external here are external inputs here from the uh, measurements, which synchronizes with the analytical form here. This part is only responsible for geometry of the of the pendulum. Uh, then, uh, then the uh, then then if the if alpha varies from between a few values, then we can see that the applying, for instance, all point. 0.9, it, it produces different uh, slopes of the uh, nonlinear dependency of the damping in, in, in the oscillator. Uh, selecting one of them, uh, we could get uh, quite, bad, quite, quite good uh, overlapping of these two uh, time histories and, it, and therefore identify the damping in, in System. So, uh, so the um, okay. So uh, let me omit this now because I, I, I'm very, well, I, 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 I think I like to, to extend the time. So sorry for the extension. And and finally, of course, uh, you can see here uh, what was the influence of the derivative. So for quite large behavior, quite large, quite quite large amplitudes of the system, and and. Uh, 
uh, the, the, the fraction of the, the fraction of the dynamics of housing so evident. If uh, if resistance uh, in the system uh, plays uh, uh, bigger role, I know how, how to say, but then uh, uh, then the fraction of uh, part plays a uh, um, uh, bigger ro role, and uh, and we see influence of the uh, of alpha in, in the model. So that's the observation. It is very. Uh, interesting that the ranking over time of the free response, yes, it is free, free, free response after heating, uh, is dependent. It should be, of course, constant line in, in, in normal cases when when C is at X dot, yes, or phi dot. But here you have C dependent on time, but in the free response test. What, what is the physical reason that the uh, fractional derivative? Uh, that was my uh, fraction of derivatives are, are, to my knowledge, are are the um, appeared after uh, are, as a curiosity uh, because uh, after the definition of of in, of, of integral uh, differentiation, uh, somebody asked what could be if alpha is different than than integer value. So 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 Not so. Really. Because in principle, there are many models where they occur just naturally. You can think, for instance, about the motion mm -hmm. in which uh, you have subordinated time. In mm -hmm. other words, physical time and the time of your measurement are not the same. And then you would say, okay, I'm choosing the clock of my measurements, mm -hmm. which will give me the information about the dynamics observed on that time scale mm -hmm. and this is where usually this type of um, fractional time derivative can be found because uh, the easiest motion which we know is the motion in which I define the number of steps and the time lapses in between the steps. Mm -hmm. If you will take the time lapses in between the steps being uh, sampled from the probability distribution which is heavy tail, you'll be getting the fraction of the relative in long time limit. In long time limit. In the long time limit. Mm -hmm. So uh, so that's practical application of it. So the practical <laughs> well, I would so say it is the practical uh, way to to discuss it is that we are observing the dynamics in the time scale mm -hmm. which is imposed on the physical time scale. This is something else. Mm -hmm. And um, from the point of view of, of time series, uh, because you are um, well, applying the time series, you're analyzing the time series here, mm -hmm. uh, that that means that the fractional derivatives appear as a representation of non-locality, uh, a long memory of non-locality in the well, mechanism generating. Uh, 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 your data points. Mm -hmm. Then, if you go back to the definition of 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 Riemann Liouville, uh, that's right. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, so here, here, uh, maybe one step, one, one step, step back. back. Yeah. Back. Yeah. 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 The, 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 you you clearly, clearly have a non-locality, non-local behavior. Uh, blurred over some uh, time uh, 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 period, and then when you when you get an actual computational uh, um, formula to, to calculate this derivative, you get this series of of, of of some data points, and that that means that you you collect information not locally but over uh, a period. So. Uh, uh, either subordination or non-local non beca yeah. behavior, but that's... It means that your time series has a memory. It's non-Markovian. Yeah? Long no, memory. Non no, 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 no,
look, the kind of general dynamics that some people call buffer controls. Um, this is exactly what the kind of dynamics uh, the friction is con considered. Uh, there's this uh, smoke shampoo, but the another collection is exactly in this form, and this is called buffer control. And it has this characteristic alpha of what? And, and uh -huh. that, that, so, that model that you've shown us on the, on the movie, uh, uh, was a mechanical model of a braking system, right? Yes. That's actually quite interesting yes. that, yes. that braking systems, uh, brakes in your cars, uh, uh, behave uh, with, uh, with long memory. Of yes, we exactly. that's, that's, that's probably Why? the because most... Why would distribution mm -hmm. be used? Yes, but this observation of the, of the fractional behavior here in the previous points was... Uh, uh, was proved to exist also in other works. I, I found it. So, uh, but it was interesting to the uh, to the Chupurnov editor, and and he, and it, it was the, the main thing that he decided to take. Yeah, because it, it shows that your system can be modeled as exactly. a system with exactly like that. So I, 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 starting with the fractional uh, derivative, I do not expect that, that there will be something because uh, usually there is not uh, fractional behavior. Mechanical system that, that, that very difficult to find something, and it appears when the um, when uh, when we have some unidentified uh, resistances of 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 very uh, unknown form, mm -hmm. and, and they are together creating such a, mm -hmm. a component in your in your in your system in in over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's my. Uh, a lecture for you today. I hope it was uh, interesting. Sorry for my uh, uh, length and, and for extension of the presentation. If there may be this yes. question. <coughs> so yes, let's imagine that we have two systems. One is a physical uh, fan room, mm -hmm. and the other is a, let's say, mechanically led uh, fan room. So if you can you do these uh, calculations online? I mean, like uh, uh, you have to add the Let's say the path how it has to move, or you can or can calculate like during the movement. Can it get used the whole physical? Uh, yeah. This formula was applied in every time instance. In every time instance, so it it, it wasn't applied uh, based on on a wave that that we mm -hmm. have. So I don't know exactly what you. So I, if you put on physical uh, like a free physical pendulum yes. system of pendulums and this mechanically. Uh, mm -hmm. Synchronization of them, no? No, uh, I mean, like, not other uh, system which, like, mechanically led pendulum, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, based on your calculation, then will they follow the same pattern? Will they, like, identically move? So, can, let's say, a human distinguish which is mechanical, which is a uh, no. free system? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, normally, when you switch to numerical computation, then the mechanics is, is next to this, as usually. So, so, you will have only numbers. So, in your imagination, on on, on the, the system can be mechanical or any physical one, uh, but uh, for the um, for the simulation uh, for the simulation it, it is not recognizable. So it, it depends only on you how you uh, direct your simulation uh, on, on your uh, on your experience and so on. How the um, and, and and how the results can be interpreted. So the physical representation of uh, your simulations can be totally identical to a real physical. Yes, system. it can be identical. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, I think that that it is a, that we touch analogy in, in mechanics or in, in physics. Analogy, of, for instance, between electronics, mechanics. Uh, I operate on on my ranges. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, if somebody don't don't know the, the theory, uh, which was uh, which provoked the creator to write the code, then it can apply to the same code, code other theory that also be wrong, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And uh, do these manifest systems calculate uh, their path during, um, like, let's say, during he the physical? Have, he will have, uh, he will have a numerical simulation that, that goes along with the experimental solution. So, so are you? As you look see here, uh, here we have experimental data. They are a bit noisy here. Mm -hmm. here. 
they are a bit complicated. But after identification, uh, here, they are, not, they are not noisy, but there is a numerical model on them. So uh, I tried to translate the, uh, the measurement data to, num to numeric, not numerical, to mathematical model. So, so the fractional derivative and the and the term and, and the form of synchronization of these two systems help me to get this. So it, it's easier to have mathematical formula in mechanics or in mechanical terms. So you you are then in home when you have uh, mathematical formula, but uh, because the experimental data are only some points which should be described, which should be. Uh, embrace in, in some in, in some much more understandable 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 for us uh, formula and therefore mathematics have to be uh, in, um, used to represent uh, this, this series. I think like that. The one last question that um, where is the limit, like uh, in complexity that you can still solve? It? There's no limit. I think there is no limit. So, for example, in fluid dynamic like turbulence models could I think solid. that there is no limit in application of, of fractional derivatives or, or, or identification. Because, uh, uh, of course, it can be a limit because in each time sample, you, you, you have to do uh, uh, all these computations. In, in every time sample. So as you, as, as you see, the uh, computational complexity increases very rapidly. Uh, uh, when you, uh, here, I could apply it because I, I had only 1.2 second response, free response of the pendulum. So for me, the tool uh, looked look good. Okay, uh, speaking of that, um, what you have infinite series here, mm -hmm. and obviously you need to count them at some point. Yes, exactly. uh, 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 do you choose your cut off arbitrarily, or, or? no? Uh, uh, I, I said some big number. I, 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 I said some quite big number. For uh, I do not check the uh, convergence of the of the series. Uh, I, I tried with uh, big numbers from from uh, 20, 50, and 100, and observed the response. And after the response was changing, then I stopped increasing. It, it's it's usual one way in numerics uh, when uh, to, to to test mathematical formulas, and it was. But you know that it can deceive you, right? Uh, well, using this argument, you can calculate uh, divergent uh, integrals or, or, or something like that. When, when the addition ad stop uh, 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 fall below the the, 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 the the numerical threshold, and you say, okay, I I, I can forget. It. But then in mathematics, they sum up to infinity. So, no, so you yes, know yes. it's it's tricky. No. It's tricky. Yes, and and, and again, oh, okay. after, that's a very good question. Almost, and, and almost and everybody does it. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <coughs> this is the difference between the the, the, the mathematical limits, the, uh, limits the division by big numbers and so on. This is usually tricky in numerics, so we can deal with it. For instance, or like like I've done with the. Uh, serious. Okay, so let us thank the speaker. <laughs>